go attend an event, I always inform my father that they have been invited to this and that and that and that. And something you must approve it before I step make this any any movement to any event. If he doesn't approve it, I don't go. So, uh, so I was always uh, very very formal about it. But uh, other personal ones sometimes that is not so distant for him at the time. I will, I will do that. But if it's an event that will make me appear publicly on television, the radio, my father will hear about it. Not on, you know, not, not unless I've told my father to, and I got his approval to go. So on the first time, the uh, two traditional elders appeared at my gate when I was still in GRA. And they said, two traditional elders have appeared and they have invited me to be chairman of, a, of an event. They, they are going to be in Aochi. So I don't wonder, but they, why would they invite me to Aochi to chairman an event by a sack of people? Also, you know, don't, don't they have uh, the power of Aochi and other traditional ones there? But anyway, my father he also asked the same question when I told, when I told my father about it that why are they coming all the way to Benin to come and invite me to? To such an occasion, said I don't know, but it, it sounds good. It looks good. It looks like a recognition, a good recognition. So I pleaded with him, let let me go. It's extending our 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 patronage, our hospitality to them, and so on. Also, it's a recognition we should reciprocate by accepting the invitation. So my father eventually allowed me to go in, to go to that event. The event was to honor Comrade. I'm sure company will remember that event I'm talking about. The event was to honor him and show many other others here also still remember that event. So I went there. One of the things I said, Chief, is that Comrade um, is a uh, governor of Edo State at that time and so on and so forth. But they should remember that, you know, I was hearing also criticisms here and there, you know, by, uh, mostly by the, of course, the usual thing, the opposition, we always criticize, that's why they are in opposition. But I also made the point, clarified the point to them that nobody, nobody, nobody is perfect, nobody, except God Almighty. <coughs> so they should remember that, that nobody is perfect. I made that very, very explicit. And then I went on to point out to them that this is the first governor that I know since military era and not civilian era. This is the first governor that I know that I met that is so uh, passionate about traditional institutions. He has, a, as a governor, as a, as a governor at that of that time, he made a lot of contribution. I want to say this publicly that he made a lot of contribution to the cultural renaissance of Benin itself, <laughs> particularly to particularly to the palace of the Upper Benin, even though. In a way, some people thought they were playing politics and so on and so forth. I was always observing, I always observed one thing about him. Each time I would come to the palace, when there are visitors coming in, and my father would invite me out, if I were, I would be sitting right there. And then, uh, Comrade, before he would open his mouth, utter a word, before he would utter a word, he's already on his knees in front of my father. He was at the door. So I was looking at this man and said, what, what manner of man is this? What manner of governor is this? That I've never seen this kind of thing before. If my father said anything, before he replies, he goes on his knees to reply. He never stood up, uh, stayed on his feet. 
and you have the stationary he will step forward and will go on his knees to reply each and every time. So much so that my father and mom used to say, ah, that's a fool, sit down, sit down. You know? And um, he did several other, he, he several other things. He introduced several other traditional practices of respect to the throne. Many I cannot, I will not even uh, want to talk about now, but I want to make a point that he did contribute immensely to the traditional respect. I've said this privately and so on and so forth. When some issues came, came up, I remember, I remember lambasting him. I said, what? You that is uh, this and that and that and you are doing this? I thought you were, you, have you forgotten the ancestors or ancestors and so on and so forth? But shortly after that, I, I calmed down about it. And he said, we pray for him. You know, we, you know this, like I said, Nobody is perfect. Everybody knows, is aware of maybe some mistakes that he, that he made, which himself has regretted. Thank you, Chief. You completed it for me. So, because uh, you know we have to be mindful of how we pick our words, you know. But uh, you all know, and again, I want I want to also say. When he's talking with that, he said, well, you know, this, uh, that is uh, such a lie. Everybody makes some very silly, serious mistakes from time to time. Uh, once you, you know, never do it again, but don't do it again. <laughs> so, that he, so that people don't remember that uh, as this person is it happy for him to make such mistakes. So I thank, uh, I want to thank, uh, we should all recognize and thank Comrade for for all the efforts that he put in to, to, to bring light to the city. For, for the first time, indeed, indeed for the first time, we saw a lot of light everywhere in Benin. You know, when they used to talk about Benin being a nation city and so on, and so on I wonder what, what they would be thinking in their head. Being a nation city meant to them, there should be no light. Everywhere should be dark. And so like, like in the old days, in the old days there was no Nepal. I mean, there was no idea to see this in uh, You know, we, we just remember Nepal. There was no Nepal in the old days. We used to use this native uh, light. And so, and so uh, after a while, we see everywhere. But even then, there was a lot of light. There was more light then, you know, uh, until, uh, until uh, even uh, before Shimoni came into, into office. And uh, suddenly, there was a lot of light everywhere. And uh, I, passed, I drove past some road going to I can't believe it. It's a big See, local road, that, that, that was that was not. You could not pass, nobody could pass that spot. Teacher's house, it was, it was, it was not a place you could, uh, it was horrible, it was there to pass that place. Ojimone came and fixed it, like, magic. Who called him uh, Ojimone back home? You know, it's like, well, that's him, he performed it back home, that spot. So, it's the, uh, is, a, is, is somebody we will always remember here as a good as good good government for a good state. <laughs> I, I used to say to people, I used to say to people that this government, you know, we are not we, we are not uh, we are not greedy by our own making. There's no there's no selfishness, no greed, no greed in our DNA. You know, some other people have certain things in their DNA they cannot change. And we say your names, but you all know. Come on, come on, come on. But I used to say something to people, I used to say something to people that this governor, that this governor, I don't care about contract from him, I don't care about any, uh, any money from him, I don't care if he doesn't even do anything. The way he respects my father, and I love my father, I cherish my father. The way this governor used to respect my father, that is enough for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> I always say that more than money, as far as I was concerned, more than money. So again, I wanted to reflect 
on that so that he knows some of us we don't just like we said that he didn't forget you that's the same way we don't forget certain things that uh, we cherish in our memory so uh, thank you very much uh, chief uh, you know, for allowing uh, me to speak again and even uh, taking uh, this so much time from uh, your agenda thank you very much